The GOP now stands for nothing. A party that doesn't believe in anything ends up believing only in its right to rule. The Republicans in Congress continually block a bipartisan investigation into the January 6 insurrection. Their spines crushed by years of obedience to Donald Trump. The members of the GOP have once again retreated from civic responsibility, with one more humiliation of those last few in the party who thought that the Senate Republicans might mimic something like statesmanship. The GOP now stands for nothing. The party of Lincoln has become, in every way, politically and morally corrupt. Today's Republicans exist only to stay in power, not least, so that their elected officials can avoid what they dread most, being sent home to live among their constituents. Republican legislators should be scared. Their base is an angry white minority that cares nothing about government. They constantly complaining about their rights being taken away. Its members want their elected officials to rule by hook or by crook, the Constitution and democracy itself be damned, and they don't want any bullcrap about stupid-ass ideas or policies. They want the elections controlled, the institutions captured, and the liberals owned. The rest, to them, is just noise. The GOP long ago abandoned any effort to convince women, people of color, LGBTQ, immigrants, and many others, that the party had a place for them. Instead, Republicans in Congress have surrendered to the ignorance and racism of their most extreme voters in exchange for a continued life of privilege inside the comforting embrace of the Capitol Beltway. They will protect their own rather than their nation and the Constitution they swore to defend. This behavior should serve as a warning. A party that doesn't believe in anything ends up believing only in its right to rule. And a movement that believes only in its own power is a deadly enemy of constitutional democracy.